Oh, hi, Vern. I was just looking through my granny's old recipe book. Because the big neighborhood bake-off is next week, and I just know that one of these old family recipes is going to be my ticket to fame and fortune in food. Know what I mean? Let's see. Rattlesnake gumbo? Nah. Nah. Furball casserole? Nah. You know, Vern, it's going to be worth all that national coverage because this year's winner is going to receive, get this, Vern, a lifetime supply of gooey boy muffin cakes. Gooey boy muffin cakes, Vern. Look at my sweet tooth, Vern. It wants to dance. <laughs> Hey, Vern, today's your lucky day and we knew you wouldn't want to oversleep, Vern. We only do it once a week, Vern. Me and all the other guys, Vern. We even brought the pies, Vern. It's the Ernest P. Moral with a story and a moral and a big chuckle, hip trip, double dip, super, super green show. You know what I mean? Oh! Hey, Vern, we moved your furniture and now we're going to fire up the barbecue, Vern. We owe it all to you, Vern. But now you gotta move, Vern! Hey, Vern! Hey, Vern! Hey, Vern, it's me! I'm on TV! Hey, Vern! It's food! You know, Vern, there has just got to be a prize-winning recipe in here somewhere. Let's see. Pigs in a blanket? Nah. Frogs in a sleeping bag? Nah. Chicken in a bedpan? Nah. Here it is, Vern. Granny Worrell's Blue Ribbon Surprise Recipe. Vern, a recipe this torn up and tattered has got to be a great one. Those gooey boy muffin cakes are practically mine, know what I mean? Bobby, I'm serious. We, we've got to win this neighborhood bake-off. I love those gooey boy muffin cakes, but there isn't anything in this cookbook that sounds good. Baked Alaska. You got an oven. All we need is a piece of Alaska. Pack the bag. Hi. I'm Mac, and my roommate George here is very excited about this neighborhood bake-off. Says he's sure to win. Got a great new Italian recipe. Deep dish lasagna. Get it? Lizard lasagna? <laughs> Sounds good to me, George. Hey, Vern, your old buddy Ernest has figured out the secret of fresh food. First, you paint your thumb green. Then, you plant you a patio garden. See, Vern, I got all my favorite vegetables in here. I got corn and bell peppers and raisins and eggplant and bologna, and I've even got your French fried potatoes. Vern, all it takes is some water, a little care, and most of all, Vern, lots of sunshine. You are looking at the Ernest P. Worrell Fast Grow System. We are talking tons of sun, okay? Great moments in the history of food. The first pizza. Nag Nag Cave, dudes. Oh, hey, man. Nice cave painting. Say, is this one Ugg Street? Yes. OK, well, then this must be like your large brontosaurus with double cheese pizza. Hey, hey, easy, man, OK? Remember, we're not like apes anymore. Hey, I hope you got like two sticks to rub together because your pizza is ice cold. But hey, is this the dawn of time or what? Yeah. Don't mention it. Here, photographer at large. You know, food is one of my favorite things, so you can imagine how excited I was when we had the big bake off. I take pictures of all kinds of food. You want to see some of them? So, like I always say, when it comes to real good photography, always say, Cheese! Simmer slowly. Hey, Ernie, baby, what you cooking? Ah, Monsieur Le Dust Bunny. Today, I am preparing my rendition of Le Hot Dogs and Le Porco Binos. Mmm, le boy. Ah, uh, 
I hate to tell you, Ernie, baby, but I'm afraid they're... Mmm, they're burnt. <laughs> Let dang. I am a vegetable, and I'll be good for you. I am a vegetable. I won't say oink or moo. You know you need me. I'll be the best that you've had. Don't wait forever. Or I'll go bad. Yep, do 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 do. I am a vegetable. I'm not your honeydew. I am a vegetable, and I'll be good for you. I, Doctor Otto, the naive semi-mad scientist. Ready to sample one of my favorite gastronomical delights. Something with the flavor of artificial flowers and raw fish. A combination like this could win the neighborhood bake off hands down. Ah, I love the smell of pansy orchid sushi. Mm. A little too much salt. Needs more plastic. Last night I heard my mommy say to my daddy that she was gonna make pigs in a blanket for breakfast. Boy, I'm sure glad I'm still on the bottle. Gosh, grown ups talk funny. Know what I mean? A skunky, skunky. A skunky. How you doing today, Woody? Oh, compared to a thumbtack, I'm not too sharp. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. This bake-off competition is giving me a real headache. With a head like that, it ought to ache. <laughs> Woody, I wish you'd help me with this bake-off. I'd help you, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? Knucklehead, knucklehead. Woody, you keep this up and I'm gonna put a mad woodpecker on your head. I think he would. Oh, hi, Burr. Look, my little garden is starting to really grow. I've been watering every day, pulling weeds, and look, these eggplants are really starting to hatch. Burn, I forgot to tell you. You know how to tell when eggplants are starting to get ripe? You squeeze them. <laughs> Today's subject is food, a substance of plant or animal origin taken in and assimilated by an organism to maintain life, growth, and nutrition. Question of the day, listen carefully. Which of these four items is not part of the basic food groups? Pork chop, Swiss cheese, rye bread, tube socks. You tell me. Two rules to remember when eating food. Rule number one, never whistle when you're eating mashed potatoes. Rule number two, obey all rules, as you were. Father the Clown. Hey, Eddie, how about a new hairdo? Mom? <laughs> oh, he's just having fun, Eddie. Why don't you three just run along and let me finish up here? No, now, honey, you decided the neighborhood bake-off would be a family project, and I think that's a good idea. It's just taking longer than it should. Skeeter, would you hand me the flower? Avalanche! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> 
Now, if all you're gonna do is throw food, I wish the three of you would go on outside and let me finish up. We've been at this all day, and all we've got to show for it are two pies. Now, two pies aren't going to do us any good. Oh, I think so. Right, Skeeter? Right, Dad! Whoa! <laughs> Moments in the history of food. The second pizza. Like, knock, knock, dude, Leaning Tower Pizza. Oh, hey, man. Is this like ancient Rome or what, dude? Hey, I'm sorry I'm late, okay? But, like, I was stuck on the Appian Way for like an hour, okay? You got five pizzas and ten Caesar salads, okay? But, like, I hope you got a torch, man, because your pizzas are like ice cold, okay, dude? Hey, nice laurels. Hey, old Caesar salad. Oh, I ate that salute, man. Hey, Vern. Looks like you're turning into quite the little shopper for this neighborhood bake-off. Know what I mean? But, Vern, if you're gonna win this thing, you gotta remember three things. Number one, always use plenty of sauce. B, always squeeze your tomatoes. And three, don't forget to thump your melons. Know what I mean? I'll be back after a while, Vern. Know what I mean? <laughs> Now, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Jelly beans, popcorn, a couple of eggs. Oh, hi, Vern. You know, the neighborhood bake-off is right down to the wire, and I'm just double-checking Granny Worrell's blue ribbon recipe. <laughs> okay. Strawberries. Pretzels. A mustard. <laughs> and for inspiration, Vern, I'm having a couple of these gooey boy muffin cakes. Mm. And Vern, with a lifetime supply, I won't have to buy. You know, Vern, anybody can cook. But for really great recipes, we've got to know how to follow directions. Like, for instance, shake well before using. You know, Vern, I do that with salad dressing, too. And it just wears me out. Ernest P. Worrell. Bon vivant. Great moments in the history of food. The third pizza. Oh, hey, pilgrim dudes. Uh, say, man, like, did we order a turkey pizza with, like, double maize, man? Well, like, I hope your little Indian friends can start a fire or something, man, because, like, thy pizza is, like, ice cold, okay, dude? Hey, man. Aren't these like great hats? Huh? Don't you like a little buckle? Hi, I'm Ernest Tongue. Do you know what a tongue's most important job is? <laughs> no, it's not licking stamps or blowing raspberries. It's tasting food. I do it all the time. Oh, look, here comes something now. Ah, yeah, ice cream. Ice cream. Yo, brain, that's ice cream. It's sweet. You want more. See, I make all these calls. Now, he'll eat more ice cream. Oh, oh, lima beans! No, 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 forget the lima beans! Eat ice cream! Now he'll eat more ice cream. Oh, do lima beans! I had to get stuck with the one guy who likes lima beans more than ice cream. Tuna sandwich. Let's start with the bread. I prefer to use a white bread. You know, Vern? Never go stale. You could use a little help with your entry in the neighborhood bake-off. Like so. I don't believe your bologna pot pie is gonna hit the top ten, know what I mean? That's why you ought to be watching Mrs. Simon Simmons' baking show. It's coming on right now. Get your pencil and paper and gather around. Now, take your shortening. I prefer to use a nice, firm shortening. And I can see I'm running short of time so very quickly. Salt your shortening. Drain your tuna. And when you're finished, if you do it properly, it should look like this. This is Mrs. Simon Simmons saying, mind your manners and fix it yourself. Hmm. 
<laughs> he took the rubber leaks again. I let you this time, boy. Come on, we gotta have tarpon tonight. <laughs> Get to it! Get to it! Hey, oh! <laughs> Hi there, Ernest. I was just doing a little fishing. Hey, let me lower your ears, boy. You look shaggy, don't you? Yeah, Earl. I'm gonna win that neighborhood bake-off. And I want to look my best when I step into the winner's circle to claim my prize. All right. Make me look like... like a Wall Street tycoon. Okie dokie, Ernest. Just sit back and relax and leave it to old Earl. Now, oh, just a second. Now, hold still. Hold still. Hold still. I got that. Now... There you go. You like it? Ah! Earl, I wanted you to make me look like a Wall Street tycoon. Ha! Oh, silly me. I thought you said a, a small, sweet macaroon. But what do you think? Do you like it? Huh? It could work. Oh, hi again. George is just putting the finishing touches on his famous lasagna for the Big Neighborhood Bake Off. And he wants me to give it a try before he enters it. Oh, I hate this part. George always wants me to get in the mood before I try one of his exotic dishes. You should have been here when George had Mexican fiesta night. Ay, 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 ay. Que pasa, Vern? I assume you are here for the fiesta. I have been testing one of my Mexican food recipes and decided to throw a little fiesta to celebrate. And now, in the tradition of the fiesta, I will begin by breaking the piñata. Baked Alaska is almost done, Bobby. And those gooey boy muffin cakes are almost ours. And now for the test. That's not baked Alaska. <laughs> That's mush. Mush, Bobby, mush. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not mush. That's Ernest's brain. Put it back in. It's only half baked. <laughs> Looky, looky, Vern. Wouldn't Mother Nature be proud? See? My bell peppers are ready to ring. My corn dogs are ready to bark. And my squash is ready to squash. I just love harvest time, don't you, Vern? Great moments in the history of food. The fourth pizza. Whoa, well, hey, don't shoot, partner, dude. Did you like order the beef jerky pizza with double beans? Well, here, man, like my chuck wagon's double parked. But, like, I hope you got a campfire, man, because, like, your pizza is like ice cold. Hey, nice bolo. Have a good roundup, doggy dude. You know, Vern, a recipe is only as good as its ingredients. You can't afford to skimp on your ingredients and expect to win a blue ribbon. Case in point, notice how they stack the cans of fruit at the grocery store? Your average run-of-the-mill bargain shopper would take the top can thinking they're all the same. That's what they want you to think, Vern. But a master shopper like Ernest P. Worrell knows that the good ones are on the bottom. Never send a man to do a boy's job. It didn't work at the supermarket, either. Know what I mean? Yeah. I thought the stock boy was gonna clobber you. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Shea Bistro. I'm your waiter this evening. Would you like to begin with the soup? What is your soup today? It's a delicious cream of broccoli. You might as well have said the plague. Creamy things make me nauseous. Especially if they're chunky in texture. Do you have frog legs? Yes, ma'am. Wear baggy pants. No one will notice. 
Ordering! I need two fried eggs, real well done. Hash browns and wheat toast dry. Thank you! They want the eggs real well done. Thank you! Still too runny. Cook them some more. Thank you! They weren't exactly pleased. Well, Vern, this is it. I've got to go deliver this to the Bake Off competition. You know, Vern, I can just feel it. This is my year, know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final judging of this year's Neighborhood Bake Off. The competition, of course, as always, was tough, but the judges have reached a decision. The winner of the lifetime supply of Gooey Boy Muffin Cakes is... Ernest P. Worrell. Now, Vern, I've got enough Gooey Boy Muffin Cakes to last my entire lifetime. But what I will share with you is the remainder of my prize-winning recipe. The judges loved it, Vern. They didn't go any further. They stopped right in their tracks. But I want you to have it. Here. Give it a try. Come on, Vern. It's Blue Ribbon Surprise. <coughs> the surprise, Vern. You found the surprise, know what I mean? Hey, Vern. You know, Vern, the taste of victory sure is sweet. But remember, Vern, you are what you eat. Ugh. And one thing I learned about the sweet taste of success, Vern, is always, always share with your friends. Know what I mean? Oh, Vern, I don't feel so good. Do you have anything for a tummy ache? <laughs>